in a time of homelessness during a pandemic or epidemic of a place and an illness like COVID, we are always very careful about who we receive things from. A few weeks ago, a young woman came up upon me and literally offered me some food and basically told me that she went off and purchased it for me. I took the opportunity to sort of educate the girl how hard that is for someone who is hungry to receive food like that for several reasons. The first reason is that as a human being, I have a lot of allergies and food predilections, meaning I have some various intolerances, which make it almost impossible for me to receive food from people who think that carrying a bag in their car is the right way to go. It's really not in a time of COVID when we don't know who's been handling the food, who's been touching the packages, what you've been doing to them, whether you've opened or resealed them, and water bottles or things that can be tainted. What I'm always recommending in my ministry for people who want to do something like that in terms of gifting some sort of food, as I'm always recommending something really simple, that they should consider doing a can of tea or lemonade or some cans of that or some cans of a protein such as chicken, ham, or beef. You see, we could do other things like salmon and tuna, which is really cheap, but the problem is that there's a lot of people who have allergies to fish or allergies to the way that that acidic food can process through their digestive tract. And when you live in a state of I mean, outdoors, it can be often challenging to find a place, especially during a time of pandemic, to use, well, the facilities. So let's be clear. To continue our story about Jane is that she literally went off again and picked up some other things and brought them back and then decided to sit down with the homeless man and talk for a while. What she discovered was that he was quite personable, that he could read her almost to the floor in terms of what was going on in her life without her ever uttering a word about what she was doing, what she was studying, and he pretty much affirmed a lot of her life. Over the course of several weeks, she continued to come and visit with him and literally bring him some cans of tea and cans of chicken, which he had sort of recommended that she do for people like him. On occasion, she also tried to help him with getting the right kind of a crock pot, and that didn't go so well, so she took it back to the store. She also tried to do a few things like getting a s electric skillet, which worked well, but then it was hard to keep it because people kept stealing from the man in the streets. So she ended up carrying it in the car so that when she would come, they would do some food runs and they'd make food together. And sometimes she would pay for that dollar tree food and other times he would pay for it. So we could make that an equal sort of situation. Jane continued to be fairly generous and kind and there was one time when he needed to buy something online for $4 and she couldn't find a $5 gift card so she just gifted him a $20 one and that was really quite generous. She didn't expect anything back, she just thought it was okay to do and he was really, really thankful and grateful. The truth is he's been able to use that gift card to buy a couple of the things online and some food and there's still a little bit left over for him to utilize online in a purchase. And for that, he really appreciates how well she listened. At the same time, he's been providing Jane some advice, some mentorship, some spirituality counseling, some a lot of general counseling, but he's not a counselor, but he is a good listener. And throughout the period of time, Jane has continued to learn from him about a social media channel that would allow her to market herself once she finishes her senior year into possibly a job for her career. She didn't know how to build that profile before, and he taught her and has been teaching her how to interact with people to build her network so that she can have a better, well, set of connections so that when she's looking for a job, she has half a chance of talking to the right person, either in HR or someone in executive leadership that will give a young person a chance, it will help them connect to the right person so that their, her career will be somewhat of a romance. She and he also talked about the value of time. And the value of time is that they could have a short-lived relationship or they could have a long-term relationship. And if she has marvelous connections in her current internships and current work, then she'll get a great glowing recommendation. But the more that he heard that she was struggling with a little bit of bouts of depression, a little bit of processing of a horrible somewhat existence in a bicultural childhood, that he recognized that she needed some counseling beyond him and made that recommendation. But what we're really talking about today is the time value of a professional man gifting it in mentorship to a mentee. You see, if he was actually using that time 
for someone else, that value of time would cost a good $100 to $300 an hour. Whereas a hourly wage position in a retail store may only pay somewhere between $10 and $20 an hour. You see, there's a real difference in the valuation of time because of not only his age demographic, but also his experience in his realm of industry. On top of that, we have to look at the fact that they've already spent a good 16 to 18 hours together. So if we just do it at the low end of, a spe of the spectrum of a marketing person in the Midwest at $100 an hour, you're really looking at about an $1,800 investment of his time, the value of his time, to a child who's maybe provided him a good, gosh, 20 to $30 in food and a $20 gift card. So we're looking at the offset to maybe $50. So $1,800 offset by her $50 investment plus her time. Because everyone's time is valuable, but the value of her time may not be the same value of his time based on where they are in their careers and in life and their capabilities. When we go outside of that, we know that this gentleman is generous. And what he has done is gifted her many things that he has found that have either no longer fitting him because someone has illegally and immorally resized clothing that he had intended to wear for himself, or he simply found them and knew they'd be of value to someone based on what they're worth. So if we add some of those things into the mix, she received a corduroy shirt with a hood, which might have been 30 some dollars at least at the store. She received a wonderful thermal shirt that looks marvelous on her that would have been brand new out of the bag and literally just need a quick washing, which would have been at least $30 for that shirt. So we're at $60 in that gift. Then we add to it a vest of that's for a suit and that literally would have been a good fifty dollars so now we're closer to the hundred some dollar mark in gifts on top of that she received a special type of a vitamin if you will for free because he doesn't use that particular version and the others that he needed were stolen from him so we're going to add another fifty dollars to that so now we're looking at a hundred and fifty dollars on top of that she's probably received a few other odds and ends such as a faith bob that he made and that probably would have sold if he were to sell those things for only ten dollars because he didn't give her anything too fancy and openly he also gave her a book on metaphysical things for her to study some of her neurology interests and that would have been a good fifteen dollars so let's just jump ourselves up to maybe a hundred seventy five dollars just a good measure so on top of the fact that he has spent and invested a good eighteen hundred dollars of his marketing seasoned valuable professional time in her for free he's also gifted her a good hundred and seventy five dollars worth of stuff possibly more but he doesn't remember everything that he's gifted her now she has been generous and kind she has given up her time she has given him a good thirty to fifty dollars in capabilities in terms of food and shopping online but when we're looking at the value of that situation do you start to understand how important a mentorship can be for a person who's young because there is the value of a person's time of what it would be sold for if he was doing that for a professional contact or a business entrepreneurship which he does have or the value of what that information she's receiving will be to her life it could be saving her a good six months to a year in terms of her job hunting process it will add value to her over the course of her lifetime as she will always continue to be networking professionally and paying attention to how those social media type tools may evolve and change. So the value might have a higher value than one would think to her in the end. So I guess the moral of the story is you never know what a person who's a stranger to you can do for you in loving kindness. Outside of the fact that he regularly gives her prophetic readings which would have a carry of his capabilities about a $350 per hour value. So we're not even going to bother to tap into that because usually a good hour of their three hours at least each time and each week when they meet is sort of given into the spirituality chat.